So to Meredith and everybody involved in the team, thank you so much for that. I was nervous. I'm just at home in my local pub now. It's just home from home. Thank you all. Well, welcome LifeWave. So as Meredith said, I'm in the grateful position of being with LifeWave for the last 14 years. Uh, I have and I am the Chief Operations Officer. Um, and what I love most about these conventions, even though maybe you haven't seen me too many times before, is I love the connections and I love the stories that I can bring back to our operations team around the world because we have a lot of people who do a lot of work behind the scenes and don't get the privilege of meeting people like you who make it all happen. We're really grateful. And I love the stories about how people come to life with. And if you give me a minute, I'd like to share my experience where 15 years ago, I was working for a pharmaceutical company. As Meredith said, my background is pharma, science, and we were developing a product which was to be used for people who had a terminal illness. And it was to help with their respiratory condition, knowing that, unfortunately, they were living their final days. And I was in a meeting with FDA, and we were discussing what was the acceptable mortality rate for our clinical trial which is not the most pleasant conversation one likes to have. And I'm not anti-pharma. People need medicine. We did a lot of good things. From the very beginning, I wanted to work where I could help people. But you're sitting in a room and you're agreeing that the acceptable mortality rate for a clinical trial was 27%. And I sat back and I went, oh, surely we can do better. Uh, and as life would have it, and as luck would have it, the luck of the Irish, maybe, <laughs> about two weeks later, I got a phone call saying, would I be interested in starting up manufacturing and operations for a company called LifeWave? And I said, never heard of it. So I went and I agreed to meet with David. And 14 years later, it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. <laughs> Bar one, which is when I married my wife. <laughs> no, sorry, David, you're up there. But not quite there. So for the last 14 years, it's been a privilege. It's never been boring, is my phrase. I've loved every minute of working with David and working with LifeWave. And I think two years ago, there was this sea change for me, which I'd like to talk about for the next 10 minutes and, and show you some things. And that was, I sat at the back of a convention here in Orlando uh, two years ago, and I listened. And what I heard was an enthusiasm from you people and you par brand partners to go and bring our products to a billion homes. And boy, have you done it well so far. You've been amazing. Now, from my perspective, I went back to Ireland and I sat with my operations team and went, these guys are going to do it. <laughs> That's a lot of product. Uh, and I'm here today to give you two messages. And my first message is, you will always have product. Last year, when I came here, I sat at the back and I listened, and the message I got was from the American leaders. Now, I understand we're in a pub in Ireland right now, after that, but there may be a few American people here. Yes. USA. Well, last year, the leaders stood on stage and said, Japan was our biggest market. Before that, Europe was our biggest market. Next year, guess who's going to be the biggest market? 
Guess who's the biggest market? So from all of us in LifeWave to everyone around the globe, and for the US for delivering on what they said they were going to do, a sincere thank you. Now, we're not just a patch company, we're a technology company. And over the last two years, as I listened, I have two functions I like to say. The first one is I'm always planning ahead. So right now, we're in convention 2023. I'm thinking about 2025, 2026, and the growth rate that you have put us on. But we're ahead. So we've invested millions in our technology and our capacity. So I can stand here with absolute confidence and say, if you want to double or triple sales in the next couple of weeks and months, go ahead. <laughs> you will have product. But nobody makes the products we make. So nobody makes patches. Nobody makes the, in the items we make. So manufacturing and automation isn't quite as straightforward. So we have to do a lot of design, we have to do a lot of innovation, we have to do a lot of engineering. Um, but you know, I think rather than me telling you about it, I'd like to show you about it. So, if we can. So let me give you a few numbers. I like numbers. So we do roughly, on any given day, about 1.2 million patches. We have three production lines where we currently produce about 700,000 sleeves a month, which you get. It's been incredible growth, but we've kept ahead. I said my first job was planning. You will never be out of product. We have capacity right now. If you want to double or triple our business, you will never be out of product. We're in the middle of planning out a line four. So by this time next year, I'll be standing here saying, you remember when we agreed we wanted to bring our products to two billion homes? <laughs> no pressure. Well, our equipment, just for the record, the front piece, the important pieces have been designed with David. It's a special process. It's a unique process, a bespoke process. It's made in a, here in the US. The back end has been designed, engineered, and made in Ireland. So it is your true heart to heart. The equipment is capable of running at 40 feet a minute. That's a lot of patches. But overarching everything we do, 
And in terms of the promise of you'll always have product, I'll put another word in there. You always will have quality product. So when you do 1.2 million patches a day, you have to innovate on how you do QC, quality control. So we've designed camera systems that in a fraction of a second can pick up 17 defects. In a fraction of a second, that information is fed onwards to our robotics. And the robotics only pick the patches that pass. And that's 96% of them. And we get better. Okay. So when we talk about patch company, we talk about being a true innovation company. Uh, so I did listen in convention last year. I did listen. Uh, and I want to be a really good partner with all you brand partners. I want to support everything that you're doing. In terms of the automation, we had to design automation where we could, at 40 feet a minute, count patches into 30s, put them into sleeves, print a lot number, put an expiration date, and then put them into packaging where we shipped them to 14 different distribution centers around the world. So my promise to you, because you are keeping your promises, is that you will have product. My second promise is that achieving success is important. How we achieve success is more important. So we want to be a good partner to our planet. This is hugely important to me. It's hugely important to LifeWave. We have an ISO 13485 system that we work to for our quality. It is world class. I don't say that lightly. Once you get certified to ISO 13485, we technically make medical devices. That's in place and has been in place for some years. That's my background. I also have some experience in environmental management. So my second promise is by next year, you as people bringing in other colleagues, other partners can say, you will always have product, but you will have product made to the highest environmental management standards. We are currently working on green energy. We're currently working on reducing waste. We're currently working on recycling everything. We are looking at all the aspects that matter to our planet. You're welcome. It's close to my heart. It's close to LifeWave's heart. We will have low to minimum impact on our community and our planet. Finally, I, I am in the privileged position of going around the globe, meeting all our staff. And over the last couple of years, we have grown enormously. It's a privilege and a, something I don't take lightly. So the two promises I make will be fulfilled. You will always have product and you will have it made in the most environmental sustainable way. But I'd like to leave you all with the message that I leave staff when I go to Japan, when I go to Taiwan, when I come here to the United States. Within LifeWave, culture is hugely important. We have a fantastic culture. I'm going to say the following that I tell my staff, I'll say to you, is love God, work hard, and take care of one another. Thank you.